Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with garlic parsley scallops. That's right, a super easy, incredibly delicious appetizer using these little bay scallops. Okay, so the key to this dish is getting everything ready ahead of time, which we also refer to as our mise en place. By the way, best pickup line ever for a line cook, your mise en place or mine. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna prep is like four to five cloves of garlic, finely minced. There's a lot of garlic in this. We're also gonna chop up some fresh Italian parsley, we need some cold butter, all right, cold butter cubed up. We're also gonna use some white wine, something nice, something drinkable, and the juice from half a lemon. And of course, we wanna make sure our scallops are thawed and drained very thoroughly, all right? Wet scallops are not gonna work in this dish. So I made sure they were drained really well, and then I also put them on paper towels in a bowl to get as much of that moisture off as possible. Okay, so all the scallop ingredients are ready, but we have to do one more thing. We're gonna serve this on some toast. So we wanna prep that ahead of time. There's not gonna be time later. So I'm gonna take some thickly sliced Italian bread. I'm gonna lightly butter it, very lightly. And we're simply gonna brown that under the broiler until golden. All right, so both sides, I'm gonna flip that over, I'm gonna do that side. And then those can just sit on the plates waiting to be scalloped. If you wanna keep those in a warm oven, fine, but really not that necessary. We're gonna be putting very hot scallops and you know boiling sauce on this. Okay, so our toast is ready, and now we're ready to do the scallops. This is literally only gonna take about three or four minutes. Very large saute pan on as high a heat as you have. Let it get really hot. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil, and I'm gonna let that go until it starts to smoke. I need a really, really hot pan here. So here we go, the pan is very hot, the oil's smoking. I add the scallops. All right, just make sure they're not on top of each other, just even them out, and then just let them sit for 30 seconds. And the reason the heat in this pan is so important, these have to just start sizzling. If they start to boil in their own juices and all that liquid leaks out, which is what will happen if the pan's not hot, you have a big mess. After 30 seconds, I'm gonna take a spoon and I'm gonna toss them around. I'm not using a nonstick pan here. If your pan and oil were hot, you shouldn't have much problem with sticking. I'm gonna throw in my garlic. I'm gonna give that a mix, and that's gonna cook for just 30 seconds. So after 30 seconds, I'm gonna add my white wine and lemon juice. All right, I'm gonna give that a stir, and as soon as that comes to a boil, which is only gonna take about 20 seconds, it's gonna to return to a boil like that, we're done. Add your parsley, add your cold butter chunks, and turn off the heat. That's critical. Turn off the heat. All right, the only way to screw this dish up is to overcook these scallops. So we're gonna stir that together, the heat's off. As soon as the butter's melted, you're done except for seasoning. All right, taste your sauce. Mine needed salt. I added some cayenne, I added some black pepper. As soon as you stir in your seasonings, which is only gonna take another 15 seconds, you're done. This also makes a beautiful pasta sauce. When you make it, just add an extra cup of cream, toss it with some angel hair, and you would have a fantastic, fantastic seafood pasta. All right, my toast was ready, so all I have to do is scoop my scallops on top. Of course, you can just pour yours on top. I was trying to like pile mine all sexy for a picture. And then the best part, spoon over that amazing sauce, the garlic, the parsley, the acidity from the wine and lemon. Just a perfect, perfect way to enjoy these sweet, fresh baked scallops. And if you don't like scallops, there's two reasons. One, you've eaten them overcooked, which gives them a very kind of weird flavor. And the other reason you've probably been eating those sea scallops, which are basically preserved in like a brine, which tastes nasty. But if you just use a pure scallop with no preservatives, and you do a simple garlic butter sauce like this, it just doesn't get any better. They are so sweet and tender and moist, you just are in for a huge treat if you do it this way, okay? Make sure you have everything ready like we did. Then you're talking about just three minutes in the pan, throw it over the toast, and you're ready to eat. Anyway, whether you're doing an appetizer, whether you're doing a pasta sauce, I hope you give this a try. All the ingredients are on foodwishes.com, of course. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.